I am Mackenzie and today I'm going to teach you how to become a hypothetic flaming belly button. So if you don't know what that is, which you should, being a hypothetic flaming belly button is a way of life. It is a way of life, people. It is a beautiful way to just be yourself. Just be yourself. But yeah, that, that's what it is pretty much. Anyway, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. So just watch this video and be I suppose I stick filming belly button. Let's get started, people. Mackenzie, would you stop screaming? Ellie mm -hmm. is trying to watch the Octonauts in peace. Okay, well, the first step of becoming a hypothetic flaming belly button is to dress like one. So as you can see, I already have the classic hypothetic flaming belly button bows on my ears which just give away the look so much but there's still so much more we can do so if i come over to my wardrobe and look at myself in the mirror i just notice how beautiful i am and how divine i look but there's still more i can do i would wear, recommend wearing really large snorkels but if you don't have any of those then goggles will be fine too so unfortunately, the snorkels really didn't have a proper size to accommodate my beautiful, luscious, large ears. So I kind of had to wear it like this, which I think just, it's really stylish and unique and makes me a really unique hypothetic flaming belly button. And as I was saying before, if you don't have snorkels in your house, you can always use goggles that look a bit like this and you'll still be considered a hypothetic flaming belly button. Yeah, so the next clothing item you usually wear as a hypothetic flaming belly button are slippers. So slippers are a little bit hard to come by and I think my mum has some, so I'm just going to go into her room and take them without asking permission, of course. Like, who would ask permission? Okay, so I'm in my mum's room and if I get these slippers, then my hypothetic flaming belly button look will be almost complete. So it's pretty important, but she's sleeping and if I wake her up, I don't know what's going to happen. There are the slippers. There is my mum. Kenzie, why the hell are you filming me? Get this girl behind my face! Girlie, what is up to be a first? You don't leave your room for weeks. And then you come and sneak up on me. I put the camera in my eyes. You come sleeping at 2 o'clock. I'm not sleeping. Hello, yes. Today I'm going to give you a life lesson, you hypothetic flaming belly buttons. And it's that sometimes in life, you don't always get what you need to be a hypothetic flaming belly button. And sometimes we just need to accept that and just move on. Yeah, yeah. So now that we look the part of a hypothetic flaming belly button, what's next? Well, every non-stupid person would know that all the top quality trendy types of people these days have catchphrases that make you just stand out. Today I'll be demonstrating a couple of catchphrases in a social school setting. Yas. And I poop, sniff, sniff, sniff. Is she okay? I highly doubt it. What is even going on? Hi guys, save the squirtles. Yes, the squirtles, save them. So as you can see, these catchphrases had a real effect on the community. You know, even if you feel like you're the only one using them and people think you're an idiot, pretty much people will start realizing how cool you are and they'll use them too, trust me. Six hours later. And I poop, save the squirrels, please! Please! Yeah, no. Here are the next few tips that I'm gonna tell you are just for general life that you need to know to be a hypozastic flaming belly button. Step one is to only ever, ever eat a diet of cheese and bed sheets. Yeah. Um. Mackenzie, darling, I'm sorry I yelled at you today. Even though you won't come out to dinner, I, I brought your favorite chicken wings. Yeah. Anyway, I'm coming in to give it you, sweetie. 
sweetie. Mum, you have interrupted my talk with Tracy. I was just chatting with Tracy and you interrupted me. The audacity. Uh, sweetie, why, why are you talking like that? Anyway, I brought you some chicken wings and your favourite. You know, you want to you wanna eat them? Does it look like I want to eat them? Well, uh, I don't know, your face is mostly obscured by the, the snorkel, so, uh... No, I don't want to eat the chicken wings! You don't even know what I like to eat, and you're my own mother. Oh, well, how am I supposed to know you never come out of your room half the time? Oh. Here is some real food, bed sheets and cheese. Oh my goodness. My mum can be so annoying sometimes, but anyway, the next step to being a hypoestastic foot and belly button is to work at the Quackdonald's drive-thru. If you're going to be a hypoestastic foot and belly button, then you must work at the Quackdonald's drive-thru. It's like you cannot work anywhere else. Like, no, just, just no, just no. It's me. You don't. I know. I am one. But our shift will work in a very, very special way that we desire as hypersastic flying belly buns. And if they don't accept that, then they're gonna have to deal with us. We, we, we don't, we don't stay. Ah, <sighs> they've finally hired, hired a new quack donors worker. Then the workload will be less on me and I won't have to stay here eight hours a day. I might actually be able to live my life. That would be amazing. I heard she starts at four o'clock. Ah, it'll be amazing. She should be here in like ten minutes. Later. Well, she should be here around this time and she isn't really. Uh, guess I need to keep working. Three hours later. Yeah, new people are late sometimes, you know? Late uh, well, it's, well, it's been 30 minutes since she was supposed to be here. Uh, Three hours later. Oh, I can't end my shift until she gets here. It's like 12. Ah! Um, hi. Am um, I the person that I'm supposed to be working with? <gasps> What's wrong? Tell me I'm late. Oh yeah, you're late. You're really late. It's two in the morning and you were supposed to be here at four. Four yesterday afternoon. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for doing my shift. That was so sweet of you. Um, save the squirrels. So yeah, you pretty much do that exact same thing every single day. So it's super easy for you. My next tip is to stay up super duper duper late at night and then wake everyone in your house up. I don't know, it just feels really satisfying to me to just hit people over the head with loaves of bread and see them scream and wake up as they see their own daughter with a snorkel half on her face hitting them. I just love it. I don't know. I'm sure all the others do too. Okay, so it's really late. My phone says that it's 3.30. So it's coming up like 4 or something. So I'm going to go wake them up now. It's like the perfect time. I totally would recommend this time. So. What a nice sleep. Ah! Ah! girl is in so much trouble. Mackenzie! Oh, what is it? I woke up with a chicken wing on my face. Can you explain that? Oh, when I'm in the morning, I wouldn't have enough energy to be saucy when I try and lick my nose with my tongue. <coughs> I think that's probably for the best. Anyway, I'm angry. I didn't do anything. You're the one who's waking me up. Well, who else would have thrown a chicken wing on my face? Maybe a burglar or something? Ugh. I need to go and moisturize my microwaves. You get right back here. Only ever use the flamenco dancer emoji. Oh 
always brag about your microwave. I have like 16 microwaves. Isn't that just so cool? Why did I let you make me come over? No! Please! Oh, by the way, everyone hates you. If people disagree with you or don't like you, beat them up with books and milk. They all hate milk. Get back here! Take that! Always drop your phone aggressively. <sighs> Where on earth did I leave my limited edition nose hair trimmer? Ugh. Hey, Dad! What? <sighs> I'm not paying for that. Always listen to the weird news report. Come on after dark. Breaking news, and she said her and her cousin's husband's cousin to death. And finally, always invite your other hypostatic belly button friends over to your house for a party. Yeah, I'm out. Thank you so much for learning how to be a hypostatic flaming belly button. Please join the trend. Keep my little heart alive, please. Because other hypersessic belly bunch out there will appreciate it. Goodbye.